friends. Okay, so first of all, if you hear this really like weird like kind of noise in the background right now, it's my fan. My fan's on because my it's burning up here. It's like 97 degrees today, guys, at least in Oklahoma. And it's burning up in the house. It's burning up in my room. So I got to have my fan on. And unfortunately, I have a really annoying fan. So it like nonstop makes noises. Video, I was going to be showing you guys all my piercings ever since I did my tattoo video I've had a few requests of people asking if I can do video on my piercings and I was like sure why not because I love getting piercings even though I pretty much only have ear piercings but that's okay because I like I will tell you even my future piercings that I want and they get even cooler okay so first before I even start with my piercings I'll just tell you like the whole history and whatnot of how I got my ears pierced so when I was four um I got my ears pierced for the very first time and my mom always did like whenever you can ask for it and you want it then you can get it I know some people like some parents say they their kids have to wait till they're a certain age or something but we just did whenever we asked for it and we thought we wanted it then we could get it so I went for my fourth birthday and got my ears pierced. I had a pierced for a good while, but when I started hitting like fourth and fifth grade, um, they started to get infected a lot. Then eventually I could only wear 14 karat gold earrings. So then after a while, I couldn't just even wear those earrings anymore and my ears were just so infected and I had to let them close up. And I heard that apparently whenever like girls get older and they go through all their like hormone changes and like start their period and all that stuff. Sorry if that's TMI, but it's true, okay? We gotta talk about it at some point. But I hear whenever that happens that it kind of just, I don't know, messes with your ears. And I actually had a few other friends who um, that just happened to them the same before, but I don't really know. Some people might have a whole different theory on that. But anyway, I had to let my ears close up. They were closed up for about two years or so before I got them um, re-pierced. And in eighth grade, I got them re-pierced. So I just have these first like re regular ones right here. This one and this one. And yeah, I just had those for a long time. And then after a while, I was like, hmm, I really want a different earring, but I want it in a different cool kind of place. And I didn't want a cartilage because everyone had a cartilage piercing and I was like, I don't want to be one of those people. So I was like, I'm going to be different and get one in the middle of my ear. Then I got this one and I, this is actually probably still one of my favorite earrings that I've ever got. I seriously still love this one. So first I got this one than this one. I only have the middle one in this year only. I don't have another one um, in this year. So then I was really liking those and then after a while I was like, I think I need more earrings. <laughs> so then I finally caved in and got my cartilage pierced and I didn't want to get it pierced on this side. I don't know why. I just thought that would look weird. So I still wanted it on this side. I got my cartilage pierced. So then I had this one, this one, and this one. So that kind of makes it weird because I had three on this side and then one on this side, which I actually didn't really think looked weird, but some people probably did. I don't know, but I really liked it. But then I was like, okay, maybe I should even it up a little bit. So then after a while, I finally, after I moved here, I got my doubles pierced. So that one and that one. And then recently I just got my triple piercing. So of course that would be this one and this one. And I just got those a few weeks ago. I can't even take um, these earrings out yet. It's only been like, yeah, three weeks, maybe four, I don't know. So yeah, those are all my piercings, but I've had people ask me this a long time ago and some people always wondered why I got some pierced at Walmart. I did, I got my cartilage pierced at Walmart and then both my second and third hole pierced at Walmart. Um, some Walmarts don't really do cartilage piercing. The one in Lee Summit in Missouri did, so I definitely went there and got mine pierced for $10, which is a great deal because it costs like $40 everywhere else. So. I was saving money, going cheap guys, and I got mine pierced at Walmart because it's so cheap. And you get, all you have to do is just buy both pairs of earrings, which are like 10, 12 dollars, and then you can get both of them. So I used one here and then I get my other one to Brittany, my sister-in-law, and she used the other one. So even though these are all really boring, my next one that I'm gonna get is gonna be right here. Right here. And I don't know for sure what it's called, but I think it's called the inverted like triple helix or something. So it'll be one, two, three. Here, here's a little picture. That is what I want right there. I think it looks so cute. I love it. I can't wait to get it. I don't know. I just want a million different piercings. Like I seriously want to get like my whole ear pretty much covered up. I know a few people that have their ears with piercings like all the way up and I think it looks adorable. Some people don't like it. I really like it, but yeah. As of right now, I just have five on this year and three on that year. 
So those were my piercings. I'm sure everyone was probably thinking like I was gonna have a nose piercing or like a belly button piercing or something cool like that, but nope, I just stick to the ears. I couldn't do a nose piercing because I am constantly messing with my nose and like sniffing and going like, <sighs> I do that like seriously 24 7 all the time and i also have this weird nose habit thing where like i kind of itch my nose and i like scrunch it and i go like yeah i know it's really weird i don't really know why i do that but i have that habit of doing that i don't i guess it just stretches my nose or something but that's why i don't think i would like a nose ring because since they have the needle or whatever the stem of the earring um in your nose i know that would bother me all the time and like Oh, the thought of getting boogers like stuck on there. <laughs> that just sounds so gross. Okay, so that is it for this video. I love hearing um, suggestions that you guys have for me to do some in some of my videos. So if you have a suggestion that you want me to do, comment below and tell me. And I have a something to talk about in my next video about my whole channel that someone actually asked in my Ask a Dare questions. So if you haven't asked your questions yet, um, for my Ask a Dare video Q&A, um, you can still comment below and ask one here, or you can follow me on Twitter, at Alexandra, and tweet me your questions there. Thank you for those of you who are tweeting me questions. It's making me so happy. So yeah, if you want to ask a question, um, totally go ahead and ask, and I can't wait to answer them in my next video. So thanks so much for watching. I love you guys, and of course, as always, stay neat.